this video I drew this histogram out and worked out the frequency here. Now I want to look at two questions. I want to find an estimate of the median time of the runners and the interquartile range of the time of the runners. Now these questions are probably at an A star level. So they're going to be quite difficult and you may want to replay this video a couple of times. The first thing I need is the median. Now I look at the frequencies here which is the number of runners and let's just add these up. This is 30 12 and 20 is 32 and 30 is 62 74. There are 90 runners. So the first thing I'm going to do is just make a note of that before I forget. There are 90 runners. Now the median is the person who's in number 45. Now if it was that easy, it would be fine, but it's not, I'm afraid. So we're looking for the 45th person. So I'm going to go along and I'm going to count along the bars. So I know this bar is 12. No problem. And I know this bar is 20. So if I count those two bars up, I've got to number 32 here. So right here, I've counted 32 people. The next bar is 30 people. Okay. So that would give me 12 and 20. And then another 30 would give me 62 people. And I'm looking for the 45th. So it's in here somewhere. So 12 and 20 make 32. Remember my median is 45. So I need to add another 13 people on to get to my median in that bar. And I'm going to say I need 13 people, 13 more to get to the median. And I'm going to take how many people are in this bar, which is 30. So 13 out of 30. And then I'm going to multiply it by the width of the bar. And the width of the bar is 10. So let's just go over that again. I got to 32. I need another 13 out of 30 times the width of the bar. So I'm going to do all that. And I'm almost finished once I've done that. So 13 divided by 30 times it by 10 gives me 4.3. Now what I'm going to do with that 4.3 is I'm going to add it onto the bottom of the bar that I know the median is in. So that bottom is 40. So I'm going to do 40 add 4.3. So the median is 43.3. So add that to the 40. Now the interquartile range is exactly the same principle. But we've got 90 runners, we're going to divide it by 4, we're going to find the lower quartile first of all, which is the 22nd stroke 23rd person. Now as this is an estimate, I'm just going to look for the 23rd person. I'm going to do what we did before, remember we went along 12, and then we add 20, well that gives us 32, so the 23rd person's in here. So I've got 12, how many more do I need to get to the 23rd? 11 more people out of 20. So it's similar to what we did here. We find the bar that it's in. We say we need to go in 11 more out of 20 because there were 20 frequency in that bar. The width of that bar is 5. Get okay, the width of that bar is 5. So we're going to have 11 divided by 20 times 5. So the, this is going to give me 2. I'm going to say that's approximately 3 because it's only an estimate anyway. So approximately 3. So I go back here. I take the lower part of the bar, which is 35. And I add on 3. And that gives me the lower quartile. Now I'm going to do the upper quartile, which is 90 divided by 4 times 3, which is going to give me the 60. Uh, just double check this. 22.5 times 3, 60, I'm going to say roughly the 68th person. Okay, so let's have a look at the 68th person. 12 add 20 is 32. 62, 6 more people out of 12. I'm at 62 and I want to get to the 68th. So 6 out of 12 
times 10. So this was quite easy. 6 out of 12, because there's 12 in that bar, times 10, because that's the width, it's going to give me 5. So I'm going to look now and say go to the lower part of the bar, which is 55, and add 5 on. So that's 50, add 5, give me 55. And then the interquartile range is the lower, take away the bottom, so it's 55, take away 38. Now I know this seems a very complicated way of doing things. These are probably the A star type questions. So it's probably worth learning this if you're looking for an A star and playing this video a number of times until you actually really get hold of it.